Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop and uh, Reed Plains did it again, so let's take a look. So to start off, if you're looking for the affordable way to do woodworking, this video isn't for you. If you're looking for the historical way to do woodworking, this video isn't for you. But if you're in the situation where you find that time is worth more than money and you like the finer things in life, well, then this might be for you. So it may sound kind of funny, but as a hand tool guy, I've only purchased three Lee Nielsen tools in my life. Number one was a float. Number two was a replacement iron. And number three just came in the mail. <laughs> the 60 and a half block plane. I have been wanting one of these for a long time. If you watch the channel for any amount of time, you'll notice that I've used this nine and a half, and I love this little thing. It's cheap, it's affordable, anyone can pick one of these up. It's really nice, it does all the work. It's not rabbited, but it does everything else. But I thought, you know, it would be nice to have a rabbited plane. Wouldn't I love to have that? Well, yeah, I guess I could. And so I've been eyeing this one from Lee Nielsen, and this is like the fit and finish. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It is brass. It is rabbited. It's heavy. It's thick. It's all happy. But it has one problem. Okay, okay, it actually has two problems. Uh, number one, it's, it's very expensive. I can pick up one of these for five to 20 bucks in usable condition and have an amazing block plane that does everything I want it to. This thing though is 200 plus and uh, yeah, it's got all the fit and finish, but it's kind of pricey. But for that price, you get this gorgeous polished brass knuckle. Uh, it's really thick. It's got the rabbited. It's got the spurs you can put on there. It's just got everything. It feels good and amazing. The one problem with it is there's a rattle. This thing, it's just, it's loose. You would expect for the fit and finish for this to be a little bit tighter. I mean, it's just kind of, it rattles around and it's got all this play from there all the way to there. And so every time you back the iron up, then you have to advance it forward and lock it into place. And there's just that, that slop that I'm not terribly happy with. It just, it's one thing that annoys me about an absolutely gorgeous, perfect plane. On top of that, when you tighten it down and you put some pressure on it, every time you use this, you're actually imparting a lateral force onto the iron. And so the iron is moving side to side. If you tighten it in, it's gonna move this way. If you loosen it out, it's gonna move that way. And so there's a little bit of lateral movement on the iron from the adjuster. And that's just, that's not a premium piece. Thankfully though, there's this place called Australia and there is a man in Australia called Henry Eckert and he makes other planes. He makes block planes that are really gorgeous and he has the, the exact same adjuster, but he did something a little bit different. Rather than just having a simple metal piece that rubs against the inside of the iron, he said, well, what if we put a bearing on it? So when you rotate it, you're not putting any lateral force on the iron. And number two, the bearing is so tight you have to kind of crimp it into the iron and it fits really, really well. That fixes all the problems. So yeah, let's do that. So if you buy a Henry Eckert plane with that adjuster, you're going to get one with this. And for a while, he actually made these separately so you could buy them and you could put them in a bunch of different Lee Nielsen planes. You could put them in record shoulder planes. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of different planes that use this exact same adjuster and you can put this into it. And it was kind of cool if you bought a premium plane or an old record from someone else and you wanted that little bit of finery to it, you could go buy it from him. Unfortunately, he decided to stop making them, so you can't buy just this. He still puts them in his planes, but you can't buy just the bearing adjuster. In comes Jeff from Reed Planes, and he is actually in the process of making his new planes, which I'm getting really excited about. He wants to put a very similar adjuster in his because it's just a really cool design, works very functionally, gives you a high degree of flexibility and high tuning to put it in there. But he wanted to do the bearing style. Unfortunately, he can't buy just this. So after talking with Henry Eckert and others found out they're not gonna make it anymore, he decided to go ahead and make it here. So now, these are available again. Unfortunately, that means I don't have an excuse anymore, and I'm sorry to my wife, but I now have to buy one of these. So let me show you how they go in. Take the lever cap off. You can pull the iron out. And then we can take off the old adjuster. The new adjuster can slide on. You can see in here the slot it's gonna fit into. In some of the record planes, that slot goes all the way through, so you can see it from both sides. We'll put the iron back in, and here's the tricky part. This actually has to kind of press fit down on. And so it takes a little bit of force to get that down on there. But now there is no slop in this at all. 
the moment you're moving it forward, it's moving forward. The moment you're moving it back, it's moving back because that bearing is locked in there. Now you can put this back on, tighten it back down, and there, there is no slop in this at all. I mean, you can feel it engaging the instant it's moving in, and it just, it feels premium. There's no lateral adjustment on there. It's brass, it matches everything. And I'm like, now it's perfect. Is that little thing necessary? No. <laughs> is, does it make the plane work better? I, not really. Uh, does it make me happy? Yes. The adjustment on this is just so nice and tight. It just feels good. And in all honesty, when you're getting something like this, you're getting it because of feel. You want something that is premium, you want something that is sharp, you want something that is just gorgeous all around and feels good in every use. And that's really what this does. It takes a really good plane and makes it even better. It's not for functionality, it's not for affordability, it is for feel and finish and fit and just mm, makes me happy. And the really cool thing is Jeff is right on the edge of releasing his planes. Uh, he's made a couple of prototypes and you might be seeing one of those here on the show soon. So hopefully, maybe, possibly, this next year we'll see some of the Reed planes coming back into stock, which I'm getting excited about. And his will have uh, this adjuster on there as well. So yes, I'm getting excited for that. On top of that, it's been just over a year now that I've been working with Reed Planes, and Jeff said, hey, we gotta celebrate. Uh, and so he went and bought a bunch of these, which are kinda cool. Uh, they are bench brushes made by a Muck Brooms, and uh, I'll leave a link to her work down below. She's off of the East Coast and makes some seriously fun things. So for the next six people who buy $50 worth of Reed products, um, you'll be getting one of these in there. So, cool, thanks Jeff. There is something seriously fun about a tool that makes you smile. When something is made so nicely and so well and just has that amazing fit and finish and feels good in the hand and then on top of all of that, it actually does good work, uh, it's an amazing thing to have. And so, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I'm loving this depth adjuster. Uh, if you want to see more about that, I'll leave links to them down below. Uh, and I want to say a huge thank you to Jeff for coming up with all sorts of things and bringing these back into the market. If you have any other questions, ideas, snide remarks, let me know those down below. Thank you, that does help out the channel. Anytime you put a comment down there, it is a great thing for us. As well as hitting like, share, subscribe, you know all those things, they do help us out. Thank you for that. If you wanna take it even farther, there is a list of people over here. Those are all of the amazing, wonderful, and benevolent people over on Patreon. Without patrons, this channel wouldn't exist. We are completely sponsored by you. So thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about Patreon or become a member here on the channel, we do have special perks for both. You know where all that stuff is, and until next time, have a wonderful day. When something makes you smile, it's worth its weight in brass.